reports from Ricardo Lightbourne last evening. I asked her for blood for softball legend and GVSA past president George Mills. Tonight, we have to extend condolences to the Mills family. You see, George passed away early this morning. He was 65 years young. In sports tonight, after seven-year hiatus, the Reach Out Ministry is returning with its basketball tournament this weekend. Well, the games are beginning tomorrow, 6 o'clock, at the Jack Haver Gymnasium. It's going to be through Saturday as well. It's just the rule. Just me. Just me. Go out there and play. It is all about the Reach Out Youth Organization's Let's Save Our Youth Basketball Jamboree. Pastors versus politicians. You have ZNS versus the Grand Bahama taxi drivers. It's all about the youth departments at various churches going head to head. And they say you need to be there to take in all of the fun and all of the action. The place to be will be at the Jack Haber Gym. And the whole purpose of this tournament is to bring the whole community together. Be losing our youth from crime. So this will be a good way for us to show them that we're here for them. So we ask the wider community to please come and support uh, this tournament. Meanwhile, the pastors say they are excited to take on the politicians after this long hiatus. Pastor Robert Lockhart is excited about the unity these games will bring about, while youth pastor Bruce Russell says he and LeBron's hairline is not the only thing they have in common. I want to encourage all the pastors to be out and um, and we want to have so much pastors out that we can put three teams on the court. And um, so I just want to encourage all the pastors to be out. Let's interact with our politicians, our other community leaders, but especially um, our young people. Bring your youth groups out, sign them up, come uh, and let's see if you could beat my youth group. Uh, you probably can't, but it'll be good to see you come out and try. And uh, just a quick message for all of the politicians. Remember, we are... We are we are ready. <laughs> We're always ready. So you could come, you could bring whatever and whoever you have. We will be there ready with the armor of God <laughs> fully on. So the question is, can Peter Turnquest make a jump shot? Will God come through for the pastors? Will Pakisha Parker Edgecombe actually put on a pair of basketball shorts and run around the court? Do the taxi drivers have any game and will Ricardo Lightborn need Ben Gay the next day? The answer to those questions come on Friday evening. You have to be there. I'm Shashina Roll reporting for ZNS Total Sports. Let me just clear the air right here. Buddy Heal got $6.9 million. I'm waiting for my contract for $7.5 million to go out there and show these fellas who could play basketball. Bring the contract, Ricky plays. Tip off basketball classic now in the history books and the Lady Warriors of Bishop Michael Eldon and the Falcons of Tabernacle Academy. They say simply, mission accomplished. The Bishop Michael Eldon Lady Warriors won the tip off high school basketball classic. The Lady Warriors receiving their championship medals and also they recorded a 44 39 win over the Tabernacle Falcons. The Lady Falcons receiving their silver medals and a competitive girls' division. The Falcons are your defending champs, but not no more. They say, what? Wait until next year. The girls' most valuable player, that's the Warriors, Maya Green. She scored 15 points in the ball game. The Tabernacle Falcons senior boys also got a title with a 66-51 win over the Sunland Stingers. Josh Dames posted a 15-point performance to pace the Falcons. Regis Cooper also had 15 points performance and pointed to a team concept, and he said, mission accomplished. This one was for our team captains, Alfredo Brown, Desmond Budden. We bring this one for them. We represent top knocking it for this. It's one team, one family, one country. We did our best, and we went out there, and we played hard, and we brought it back. Because we didn't have two uh, star players that really hurt us, but we stick together, and we come up with the win. Desmond Butler was named the most valuable player in the tournament. He's got the trophy to show for it. Coach Kevin Clark said, not having Desmond or Alfredo Brown available, he said, next man up. That's why you practice. That's why you had all summer to get yourself together, and they did that, you know. Listen, Ricardo, we're relentless. We're not going to stop coming. We're deep, we're young, and we're a veteran team all in one. So you're going to be dealing with us for years to come. And I say again uh, to the Mills family, our condolences. Uh, George Mills, I played softball with for a number of years. And again, as the GBSA past president, he will be missed by us all. Let's look at your sports tonight.